What is an ISP? ISP stands for Internet Service Provider. They are a company that provides a permanent connection for an individual or business to the internet. Think of them as a service provider like your water or your electricity. Even though in your house you may have a tap, you won't be able to get any water unless you have a contract with your water supplier. Same with your electricity. Even though you have bulbs, you need to be able to be connected to the electric grid of your electric company to be able to get the lights to shine. With your computer, you may have a computer with a browser, but you cannot access the internet unless you connect to another company's internet so that they can give you access. There are different types of connections that you can sign up for. A digital subscriber line is a type of internet connection that uses existing telephone lines to provide high speed internet. You might hear of ADSL, which is an asymmetric digital subscriber line connection, meaning that the upload and download speeds are not equal. Download speeds are generally much faster than upload speeds because you tend to download more than you upload. ADSL is more commonly used for home internet use as people use the internet for downloading content rather than uploading it. Fiber optic internet uses thin glass or plastic strands to transmit data as light, which allows for faster speeds and a more reliable connection. Fiber is becoming more popular as companies install fiber cables in different areas. That's because fiber tends to be more consistent in terms of its speed compared to DSL, which can be affected by factors such as distance from the telephone exchange and the quality of the phone line. Fiber optic is also less affected by weather and tends to have lower latency, which is the amount of time it takes for data to travel from your device to the server and back. This makes fiber optic internet a better choice for activities like your online gaming or video conferencing or streaming. Mobile cellular internet uses cellular networks to provide internet access, typically through a device such as a smartphone or cellular phone, like a 3G modem. You also get other types which aren't as commonly used like satellite and cable internet, Satellite uses a satellite in orbit to transmit and receive data, while a cable uses a cable television network to provide internet access. When you sign up for an ISP, they will assign you an IP address for their network. They may offer other services like give you an email address or provide web hosting if you have a website you want to put on the internet. Some contracts will include a free or discounted modem or router which allows you to connect to their specific type of network. And some provide installation for any cables or equipment that you require to get your internet going. When getting an internet service provider contract, there are several things to consider, including location. Make sure the ISP service is available in your area and check the network coverage, availability and quality of the service in your specific location. Bandwidth. Consider your internet usage and the types of activities you'll be doing online. If you plan to stream, play online games or work from home, you'll want higher download and upload speeds. Cost. Compare prices and packages from different ISPs to find the best deal for your needs and budget. Also look out for hidden costs such as installation fees, rental equipment and additional charges if you exceed your data cap. Contract type. Find out the rules and regulations regarding if there is a data cap, when and what they shape, or when they throttle internet connections. A data cap limits the amount of data you can use. Uncapped means that there is no limit. Shaped plans slow down the internet speed once you reach a certain data limit, or they slow down internet at certain times during the day or specific web services. A throttle plan slows down the internet speed for long periods of time to prevent customers from exceeding their data cap. Support. Check for the availability and quality of the customer support offered by your ISP. Find out the hours of operation and what types of support are available. For example, is it by phone or email or live chat? Reliability. Look into the ISP's uptime and availability as well as their track record for outages or service disruptions. Overall, it's important to consider your specific needs and usage habits when choosing an ISP contract as well as the features and services that are important to you. Now that you know what an ISP is, I hope that you have one so that you can enjoy the internet. You can use your ISP to find our YouTube channel, follow us and leave a like or comment, we'd love to hear from you. You can also follow us on TikTok and please share us with your friends so we can help them too. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long Way.